This is basically my attempt on the Fusion 360. Tried to made a, make a body two years ago. And uh, yeah, I think I'll take the windshield. There was all sorts of errors on this. I couldn't even post it or finish it or whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do the windshield that way. Or close to it. Hello. How's it going? Back for another video. So in this video, I will be sanding everything down, make it smooth, fit and finish. Get all these spots out, ready for Bondo and clay. So I got something for my windshield right now. I'll add clay and make it look like the one on Fusion 360. All right, let's take this thing apart and let's start sanding. Now that I have my layers, my extra layers, I can start uh, polishing, sanding, ready for Bondo. I'll be wet sanding to keep the dust to a minimal because I'm indoors. I have a little bit of ventilation and I'll be wearing my mask. Got my little thing to block, make all the little ridges smooth. You need that. And I was supplied with the glue gun so it doesn't move. All right. Let's get on to the long and tedious part.
after. Oh yeah. Nasty. That's why it's important. What scent?
Yeah, that's pretty much all I can do with the bundle right now. I did the body filler right here. Make sure that everything's nice and round. So I'll use less clay. Got all my gaps, you can see all the low spots. And whatever's left on there, it has to be made with clay. It's the only way I can do it. Because bundle dries pretty fast and it's not easy to work. I tried it under my uh, fenders and it didn't work too, too good. It dried way too fast and it's hard to sand. So what I'll do is I'll be using this epoxy sculpt. Two part epoxy clay. You got it in brown. So therefore we'll be sculpting with that. I'll be able to smooth it down with water and tools and whatnot, making my ridge, let it settle down and I'll have minimal, very minimal sanding to do. So everything else, windshield. I got the shape here to sort it out. Now I want to do my console. Basically, I'm going to be using epoxy clay and trying to do this kind of a shape. And I'll buy a gauge that measures the voltage, put it here. And my windshield should fit right on top. Oops. Like that. Okay, so I'll keep on refining this until I'm really ready for clay. The little spots in there. I'll start with the back, windshield, and then I'll do the rest. So for the next video, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. It might be just a little montage or I'm not sure because sculpting is going to be long. Like it's going to be a very, very long process. Started with my lines already. So I wanted that to be a little bit shaped more. Trying to get that little, kind of like that little elevation coming down. And it's gonna be more round so I can fill this in, that gap, because I wanna kind of keep that on an angle. And I'll probably have to remove that part right there. That was just basically when I was mocking it up so it stays flat, but this will have to come out. And then basically try to merge this onto this panel. And then I'll be putting a line, a cut line. I'll be coming down here for my side panel. All the way down to the side here. But I have to finish this side before I can do that. So there's a lot of things that has to be done. Then right here also, bring that up so this part sits nice from under. And it's about the same gap all the way down. Probably up like that. Then we'll bring it down, follow this line, follow this curvature, all the way to smooth. And it will work with the top here. All right, so I'll keep on doing this. Keep on working this edge. And it's pretty close to done. Everything looks good. Everything else will be clay, fine tuning refinement and then I'd like to start the lights I'll have to do a sketch for that because they'll have to come out and kind of inside all right guys so keep on writing never stop I'll see you on the next one don't know when it's going to be out I might have to get my little ones out first we'll see so till then ciao for now